Today in the news, AMD is starting to look sickly and Nvidia is not that evil? What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. In AMD news, we got some disappointment. So we know that their upcoming event is on March 3rd. That's uh, the Where Gaming Begins episode three event that they tweeted about two days ago. As we saw on the tweet, they're going to expand on their upcoming lineup of paper launches. Sorry, I meant GPUs. That expansion slash the new products should compete with Nvidia's new offerings, the RTX 3060 Ti, and the RTX 3060 that just came out. As far as we knew, those products from AMD would be the 6700 series. The RX 6700 should be released on the 15th of March and 6700 XT should be released on the 18th. Now, why am I talking like I'm about to give you some bad news? Well, so, according to French outlet Caucat Londe, while both were planned, the regular 6700 non-XT will not be making its way into the market just yet. In other words, it's delayed. And the 6700 XT? Well... While it will be out, unfortunately, it will be shipping in insanely low quantities. For France, a country with about 32 million adults, there will be only 100 MBA cards. Those are the reference models, and about 100 cards for AIBs. Yep, that's it, about 200 cards for a whole country. Like I said yesterday, some AIBs haven't even received any RX 6000 cores in three weeks. Moving on to some Nvidia news, they have finally joined AMD with the support of Resizable Bar for their desktop Ampere line of GPUs. It was already supported on certain laptops. Great, right? So the RTX 3060 actually shipped with a VBIOS that supports Resizable Bar. All you need is a CPU and a motherboard with a compatible SBIOS. Wait, what? Ah, that must be a typo from Nvidia, not my script. Anyways, so it's shipped with the 3060, but the rest of the RTX 30 series will have to wait until late March. Nvidia said that it can increase performance up to 10%, and unlike AMD, Nvidia will actually validate which games perform best and enable the feature only on those. That's because resizable bar can actually hurt performance in some cases. Moving on, let's talk Lenovo Legion. The company teased a custom version of the RX 6800 XT and 6900 XT called the Legion Edition. And I gotta say, they look pretty great, even though they're bigger than the reference version. Now, before you get excited about it, there's two things you should know. First of all, at least right now, it's only for the Chinese market. And second, only in one specific gaming system called the Savior Blade 7000P. What I do like is that this points toward Legion using more custom designs in their systems rather than using OEM blower style designs. That's good for temperatures and acoustics. One way or another, it'll be interesting to see if these make their way into the North American market, if the AMD cards ever become widely available. Next up, let's talk Nvidia. With the announcement that they would be limiting the mining performance of the RTX 3060 and also launching a new series of mining specific cards or CMP, there was a lot of outrage from the community and a lot of people posted videos talking about how Nvidia doesn't care about you and that this will for sure affect the GeForce Ampere lineup. And while it's true that they probably don't care about you, at least now we know a little more about these MPUs. That's mining processing unit. Nvidia's latest the latest drivers that were pushed out to support the RTX 3060 also adds support for two of the four announced mining cards, the 30HX and 40HX. In that driver, we have the PCI IDs for these two models, and with that info, it was easy to determine that the 30HX had a similar PCI ID as the GTX 1650 and 1660, so it's using a Turing TU116 GPU die. The 40HX, on the other hand, uses the TU106 die. That's what in the uh, 2060 and 2070. So both of those are actually RTX 2000 models on the 12 nanometer process. So I guess we can calm down a bit, knowing that Nvidia isn't using any precious and rare eight nanometer Ampere dies on these two mining cards and I specify on these two. While I'm sure that many of you out there would love to get an RTX 2060, 2070, or even a 1660 right now, just remember that those CMP GPUs did not meet the GeForce standard anyway, so either they ran too hot, had broken RT cores, or just straight up couldn't run games properly. Now, why did I specify only these two? Well, because it's not all good news in the MPU front. Yes, I'm sticking with that term. It's not all good because we're not sure if the 50HX will be Ampere based, but the 90HX definitely 
definitely will be. Thankfully, those two models are not expected until Q2, so maybe the overall GPU stock situation will have improved by then. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's story. You can also subscribe. That's also free. This laptop, yeah, it's been off the entire time. Plus, it makes a funny noise when you uh, open it. Listen. Ouch. Feels like, you know, somebody's breaking a bone or something. Anyways, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. And so I flacked out, threads on my jacket blew out the seams. So I wiped out, bruises and blues and felt like a dream. Oh, I struck out. You took me way past where I've gone. You took me way past where I'm gone.